Hello all, this is D Swank. Uh, I'm in Space Engineers at the moment, and <clears throat> I am currently, f uh, well, two things. Currently, I am fighting a some issue with my ear, my left ear, and currently I cannot hear particularly well out of it. Also, as this video is going up, um, I am going to be on a drive down seven hours down to see some friends in Texas. So, and look at that lens flare. Now, I know a lot of people dislike that because, well, that's a lens flare, but, I mean, you're a, an astronaut in a spacesuit. You could easily get a lens flare effect off your uh, multi-layered visor. So... Um, anyway, what I'm looking at today is a series of, well, two ships. Um, one, well, both of them are by Jim Lore. One is this little beauty. Um, it's a refit of his mining drone, which is to operate on hydrogen. And he makes it very clear in the, um, workshop page this thing is meant for creative only because it goes through ice faster than it can mine it. But, as an aesthetic build, it's nice. If you want to use it as a set piece, it'd work for that. And, honestly, if you wanted to convert it to uh, work on planets, I don't think it would be that hard. You'd have to cut up some of the aesthetic features of it. But I think it would do pretty well. Um, and do we have horizontal? We have horizontal there. Woo. So, yeah, it doesn't... It's not really a survival-ready ship at all and he makes that clear on the um, workshop page so if you like that ship I will leave the description below and leave a link in the description below hop on over tell Jim Moore what you think of this one which is the F J J T M D frost little sh little minor creative now, this is really the meat and potatoes of this episode. This is the JTE Exploit Exploration Shuttle. Which I like. I like this a lot right now. Okay, so we have the cockpit up here with some glass in the front. Uh, some push buttons. I'm not sure what they'd be used for. Uh, down here we have what appears to be a little hydrogen grinder welder ship conveyor to on. Um, we have batteries, we have jump drives, merge blocks, hydrogen thrusters. Uh, I'm, I'm not too fond of the center of the hydrogen thruster. And Wow, I can actually go fairly far inside the large hydrogen thruster. That'd be cool if I could actually camp out inside of it. I don't know if they'd ever do that, but... And I love... I love Jim Moore's aesthetic for a lot of this. Uh, there is no interior to the ship. Also, doesn't appear to have any hydrogen... Not hydro... Uh, uh, power. So... Let's jump in. Okay, she has no fuel. No fuel whatsoever. Well, that's going to be a slight problem getting this thing up and running. Cargo containers here, but no access to reactors. So, um,. Let's 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 throw one on just and zero 
Alt F10, no, just Shift F10. Get some uranium. Uranium ingot. And a thousand. Alright. Uh, inventory. Okay, there's 10 there. And then quickly, let's come over here. Inventory, toss all of it in. So we have plenty of power. Delete that. And shift, no, I want that. Okay. So. We is up and running. Inventory. This has plenty of ice. So, I like it. I like the look of it quite a bit. So, we've got merge blocks. Let's look at... Uh, we have air harvester. That's cool. Uh, interior turret, jump drive, hydrogen, oxygen harvester, oxygen generators, uh, text panels. Okay, so this is just run around ship. Pretty dang fast. Uh, wow, that that is impressive. I love the sound of it. And it slows down pretty good as well. I bet it's even more maneuverable without the uh, jump ring. Turns well. Turns really well. Um, let's go... Let's see. Oh. I bet I... Ah, the batteries weren't charged either. Oh, yeah, they were. herp derp I feel stupid now. Um... Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so uh, groups jump drive on. Okay, so we don't have a jump. What? Oh, that's that's power for the jump drive ring. Her. Okay. Jump. Jump drive master. Alright, we're gonna point in the direction and jump. Goodbye, cruel world. Okay, we jumped. So, since we're actually building something like this in our creative world. Uh, let's... Okay. Yeah, he did warn that that could happen. Due to space engineer's tomfoolery. Uh-huh. Well, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Just in case. That. And let's see how this little thing maneuvers. I like this little shuttle. I'm sure it'd go good on a planetary surface, too. So. I definitely, if you didn't download the, uh, the little, little, uh, aesthetic harvester, creative harvester, I would download this. If nothing else, for the hopes that Space Engineers fixes that bumble issue there. And uh, that we can have dock rings that actually work. Okay. Well, I'm not... I think part... What would have made this dockering better 
would have been to try and sequester a few thrusters on it. Because it is drifting, and there's no, no way I'm going to be able to drift with it and do all the precision maneuvers needed to try and uh, get the, the docking back, because I suck. I'm not familiar with the ship. Okay. Well, we didn't need that hy hyperdrive anyway. Let's see if I can blow up the other one. Uh, Ampner's on. Nice. Just what I wanted to do. And this is why orbiting in space engineers would be a bad idea. Uh, help if I turn that on. But I can't turn on the docking on that. So yeah, there, there's a lot of issues here. I can't, I, I have to beacon reach talk to that, so, and there may, not a beacon, but an antenna or something, and, yeah, I can't reach that. I think I blew it all up. So, I'm sorry, Jim Lore, for tearing up your beautiful ship. I liked it a lot. And everything I like, I tend to blow up. I'm sorry. Somehow I haven't blown up the Ship of Fools. So, we have that to look, go, look forward to. So, if you want to play around with this exploration shuttle, its link is in the description below as well. Uh, I s seriously suggest you do that, because this is actually an, a wonderfully wonderful ship to look at even now that i've torn it up it looks really good um so um yeah go ahead take a look uh links in the description below leave a comment here leave a comment on the workshop page tell jim what you thought and i will see you next time until then buh bye, -bye.